Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. And my friend, Hugo Savinovich, is finally going to be in a wrestling match right here on this video cassette. This is El Profit, the wrestling manager in Puerto Rico, and they got in a confrontation, Hugo Savinovich and El Profit, about who was the bigger chicken. And I'll tell you what this match is, ladies and gentlemen. This is a match where the loser gets painted yellow with yellow paint. This match took place in Maya West, Puerto Rico. Right, Hugo? Yes, it was, but it wasn't because who wanted to find out who was the biggest chicken. It was a matter of he kept insulting me, daring me, just to doing some awful things, and finally had to put my wrestling tights on. And he always called me a coward, yellow, and I said, okay, it's going to ring. And the counter was signed. The loser was to be uh, painted yellow. And this is where it's happening in Sports Palace in Maya West. I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Vimich, I'll give you credit. I knew you when you were a professional wrestler, and you were a good professional wrestler, but you got to admit, you had been behind the mic for a few years before this match took place. There had to be some doubts crossing your mind. Yes, there was plenty of doubts, but all the wrestlers from the Justice Army, uh, including Carlos Colon, they really coached me through those hard times training, and I had a lot of confidence, and I didn't really care if I won or lost on this match. I was there to prove a point that I was not afraid of El Profit. Well, I'll tell you something, Hugo Savinovich. I'm walking, you walk out of the dressing room there with uh, her, with Castillo Sr. as your manager, and I'm noticing you look pretty good and you put pretty shape there. A little bit better than you do now. You let yourself go after this match, didn't you? Well, you know, it's hard to be out of the profession and especially producing programs, but for this confrontation, I was, they kept me up in the morning, jogging, running, and hitting the weights, and then all the training inside the ring, and. I don't know what was worse, the training or the match, because it was awful. Well, I'll tell you something, Hugo, you look good, and you take the match right to the man right here. Here's Hugo, right up on top of the man. I guess you wanted to settle the score right away, Hugo. You want to in, in this match real quick. Oh, I was biting him. I was doing everything. All, all I had in mind was just to beat him and quick as possible, because, you know, it's hard to go back into the ring. That's right. There you are. Hugo, that was, a, that was a nice Irish whip into a turnbuckle. You've definitely got problems on the defensive because I don't think he expected you to look this good and be wrestling this good coming back after your layoff. Now here I got my headband and I got it wrapped around the throat, keeping it away from the referee. Just choking him. I'm not denying it, Bobby. I did break the rules for this match. Well, you got to admit one thing, Hugo Savinovich. This town in Maya West is kind of your second home. And wouldn't it be a little humiliating to be laid there in the middle of the ring with yellow paint all over? Oh, it? yeah. It was a lot of things were in consideration when I signed for this match. But also having Castillo in the corner, famous manager like Castillo, and having all those thousands of fans of the sports palace and all the wrestlers, Carlos Colon, the Invader 1, the Invader 3, the young bloods, all of them helped me. I really got to thank them because they stuck with me. Good suplex, you got to say. That, that was Bobby. a beautiful suplex, Hugo. Now, Give you got his credit, leg wrapped Bobby. up. Give you got his credit. leg wrapped up. If you just would have locked those two hands, you'd have him tight. Nice reversal there to get him in a pinning combination. So I'm not sure wrestling there, baby. You got to lock going those hands to, there, though, Hugo. Going back to the years of high school, they yep. were Clinton High School in the bronze. There you go, right there. You got to lock that leg and that neck, and you're not doing it. Profit's got to regroup is what he's got to do right now, as you very well know. Okay, at this time, I had uh, really spent some of my oxygen trying to get the pin falling. I was trying to keep myself uh, going, not to slow down, but also taking in consideration the fact that Prof is always in top shape, always trains his wrestlers. So I was, I was concerned about if I was going to be able to keep this kind of uh, uh, wrestling going with this, uh, the professor. Place. But Hugo, plus you're in front of your hometown fans here. You're a little bit nervous. My son was there, the you know. Generally. My son I was know there. That. I was also there, Hugo Savinovich. I remember. You and know, you were booing for me. You were booing me because I, I saw you in the corner. I you like were to the see first, you painted yellow. You were the yes, first like one to you. shake hands with the professor, Bobby. Yes. Let's admit it. You I were like the to first see one. you painted yellow. But right here, what we're going to see. As a is, matter of fact, you were one of the guys that was training with a professor. Well, that Let's could come be out true there, open. too. Yes, it was. But I got to admit, Hugo Savinovich, you surprised me and a bunch of other wrestlers. And I'll tell you right here, this is one heck of a match. And you, you just come back in the ring and you didn't get, you gave the man a chance to breathe, and that's where you made your mistake. Now the profit's on you, pretty hot and heavy. He was biting me hard right here. Good punches by the professor. And, you know, after not being in the ring for some years, anything that happens to you in the ring, you kind of feel it even even more hard because of your body's not, not used to that much punishment. Now you've lost your tolerance for the pain and you've lost your tolerance for the thunder. There's a problem with both feet right in your oh stomach, God. Google. That hurts me just looking at it again. I'll guarantee you it hurt twice as much right there when you were in there. Now I was ready to throw down. up by now, now after that. I imagine you were, Google. Now, now you, there you are, Castillo nice left says, hand. Let it all go right here, go for it. That's, and that's right. what I did. 
Sunset flip by Profit. He almost got me. I don't know how I was able to skate. I don't even believe myself when I was able to escape from that. Right there, Ugo, you let the man overpower you and take you in the ropes. Another sunset flip by you. That's a pinning combination. You got his legs wrapped up. Two count, Ugo. There you almost won the match. Nice inside cradle by Profit there. One, he, he had two, me hooked. and you reversed it. One, two, there. Good wrestling here, good wrestling. Almost a three count. He could have gone either way on that, you know, because I had no control on my shoulders. That's and right, they get you wrapped up in that cradle. It's an extra move. There you are, okay. taking it right I to him. I was biting him. I was him. I was biting him there, Bobby. Okay, there you just kicked him a little bit of a low blow. No, it wasn't really that low. In that hamstring area okay. there. Okay. Now here's a front face lock. Oh, it's a inside cradle by Google Savinovich. You got him there. One, two. No, the referee, referee wasn't counting it there. That was a low blow by the professor. Well, his shoulder was up. If you notice, Lugo, his left shoulder was off the mat by about three or four inches. You didn't push all that weight on him. Okay, right here, I was in deep, deep trouble because I was hit right around the groin area, and then the professor dropped the knee around the head, and you know that I was in trouble because That's, you've been there. I've you been know. there, and there he is. He's stretching your face a little bit because he knows you're going to expend some more of that oxygen. There's a nice elbow by Prophet. Castillo's complaining still about the low blow. I'll tell you, the Prophet is taking it to you pretty good. I'll tell you that right now. That's a good move. We'll get him on the rope so you can get him off you a little bit. I was holding on for survival, Bobby. That's a good move. We'll fly and body press. There you got him wrapped up. One, two. Oh, he barely kicked out. He I busted thought, your I mouth thought, open there, didn't he? Yeah, I thought I had him. I thought I had him on that, but sometimes. Oh, looks like he's going for a pile driver. I was I was holding on. Looks like he's going for a pile Boy, driver. I was holding on. Oh, back dropped But I hurt my back. I hurt my back. This is where my lower back, as you know, when you've been out of the ring, sometimes you make mistakes. There, when I was trying to get him up, I forgot about my back, and I really hurt my back on that move. Well, that happens sometimes. Willie's able to hear an abdominal stretch. Good, going right in that abdominal stretch. Might have a submission here. There you you put it right back into a laydown stretch. One, two. Oh, he barely kicked out of it. Oh, you got to wrap that up a little bit harder. Now, Prophet, there he's, he ankle dived you there, and he got your leg now. And I'll tell you what, I think the Prophet's just a little bit more than surprised about your wrestling ability right now. Well, he was shocked. He was shocked because he wasn't expecting me to do that many moves on him. He was expecting just uh, me to go in there and try to punch him out. But I knew that he was going to be able to take that because he's used to uh, competing against some top athletes. And I didn't know I stand a chance if I just go for punch for punch with this guy. That's that right. Look at that. That was a good move. Robin's there. trying to lay on you there a little bit and get some of that wind out of you. But you got to remember, anytime you wrestle in Puerto Rico for Capital Sports Promotions, you wrestle against some of the best. You wrestle some of the superstar professional wrestling all what over about, the world. What about this move That's here, That's a Bobby? nice move. I think you learned that in Mexico, didn't yes, you? That's a submission move. Now you're rocking him. And he gives up. That match will be over. The, He's legs, good. the lower back. He's going to be painted yellow if he gives up. He says no. Seems so shaking his head no. See, but also the way he counterattacked the move, he got those boots right around where I had him hold by my shoulders and just broke from that easy. Oh, there's re reverse uh, rear end bump there. And I'll tell you one thing, that looked like it charged you pretty good, Hugo. Oh my God, I felt it. Uh, I, it. Listen, one thing about seeing one of the matches is that even though it's already happened, you feel the pain. Right now, I'm, you know, it's not a beautiful sight to see somebody doing that to you. That's right. This, this is, like I say, ladies and gentlemen, this, this has been a feud that had gone on for months here in Puerto Rico, and it's going to be terminated tonight. Oh, double knockout. What were you thinking about when you got up facing backwards to him? I was, I was going to try to sneak behind him and go for a cradle or something, but I never, I never expected him to be coming that fast. And boy, was I surprised. Well, that was a terrific collision. As you can see both of you are sure, Grog. I was I out. You are. I was out. The sports palace was just uh, going around on my head. Oh. You're going to take that big... Oh, All that looks weight. like it might be it, Well, You he, might pin you right here. One, two. I, see, Prophet didn't lock that leg up, just like you were guilty of earlier. And if he would have done that, I don't think I would have been able to kick out. I oh. could I could honestly tell you that right now. You look pretty weak right here. The big body slam. It's the first one you've taken in a few yes, years, right? Yes, and I was hurt. I was Here goes hurt. the Prophet. Up, I think he's going to go up on the okay, top rope. Here, Castillo. Castillo is screaming to me. All I could hear is, move, move. Castillo is screaming. And I don't know where Prophet is, but I put my knees right up. And I caught him coming in. That was in. a beautiful move. And right there, there, I rubbed the leg, and I made sure that he wasn't going anywhere. 
And you notice the people in Mono West, Puerto Rico, are going absolutely bananas, ladies and gentlemen. This man here, after being out of professional wrestling for years, training with Carlos Colon in the Justice Army, has just made a successful re-entry to the professional wrestling ranks, and I think the Prophet's gonna get a paint job. Okay, by now I knew the match was over. Boy, was I in heaven because I don't know how I pulled that victory out, but I could honestly tell you that I thought the professor was going to win. Well, look at the people. They stormed the ring. They're happy. I know you're happy. I know the prophet right now at this time is very, very depressed because he's going to be humiliated by being painted yellow by a wrestling commentator. What also, at the Sports Palace, there were some top photographers from different magazines, including Fast Eddie from EG Productions. He was right there. That's right. I just saw EG hanging around ringside there a minute ago. And there's Prophet trying to get away from you. And I noticed that you kept Let him right Let me tell you toe. something. The fans were surrounding the ring area, and there was no way that there, a professor was going to go yeah, anywhere. There, there's, there's another referee, Victor Gionis, right honest. there. He's going to help you out a little bit from it, Capital Sports hey, Promotions. let's face it. This was party time. Yeah. Okay, the match was over, and he it, lost. So he knew that the contract stipulated, if I lost, I had to let him paint me yellow. And at this time, even the son of the mayor was there. Look, oh, would you look at that. Well, Hugo, I gotta admit one thing. You won the match, and you're painting the man yellow, and that's embarrassment. Oh, it was fun. Believe me, it was fun. But one person that was not really enjoying this was the professor. Two referees were holding him by the legs. Two wrestlers were holding him by the arms. And I had just paint all over around his mouth and everything. Now, at one point, I thought this was enough. But I heard some of my friends, some of my re the wrestlers, say, paint them on the back, because Americans believe that a yellow streak in the back means you're a coward. Now, that's the American custom, and I said, why not? So, now you're gonna flip him over, just like you would a pancake here. As you know, all the referees and the wrestlers are helping you. But you know one thing, Lil Savivich, what we ought to tell the people is there's a sequel to this match, and maybe on volume number three, we'll put that on volume three so all these people that have bought this video cassette can see the sequel to this okay, match. Okay, here's, here's a, the yellow line on the back. And how is it American people say you have a yellow line? Yellow streak right down your back. And as they say in Kansas and Texas, Prophet, you've just been painted yellow. you got a yellow streak running right down your back. Okay, this was fun. We had the uh, son of the mayor. We had Fast Eddie from ENG Productions there. We had the promoters of Capital Sports Promotions. We had photographers from all the top wrestling magazines. The party was on. The fans were loving it. And like you said, uh, Bobby Jaggers on the next Superstars Volume 3. They're going to see that this did not end there, that I had a tough... Uh, he's going right professor. back in the ring with this man again, but as we're I not know. Gonna, we're not going to tell the fans what happened. Nope. We're going to let him wait for the next VHS. But ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look and see just how El Prophet okay, was but, painted yellow. Wait a minute, Bobby. I want to see him standing because the fun part was when he tried to get up from there. Now this was, if the victory was big, try to get up when it's painted, when it's paint all over the basketball court and it's, you can't get up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He came and walked back to the dressing room. Let me room. enjoy this, Bobby. Let me enjoy this, Bobby. I have to enjoy myself. Well, I got to say, that's one of the best paint jobs I've seen. How much did you charge you? 1995? Look at he's, he's gonna He's going to skate back to the dressing room here, Lusevinovich. Well, let's just take a look, ladies and gentlemen, and just see how this man was painted yellow when Ugo Savinovich pulled his knees up and pinned him. One, two, three, right in the middle of the ring in Mayawes, Puerto Rico.